Levin is an emotional breakthrough mentor, author, and speaker. He is a certified hypnotist and certified NLP practitioner specializing in belief systems. Paul believes that we are all hurting from childhood and other traumas, and that when the pain of those traumas is resolved, you are empowered to manifest the life that you want. Paul teaches how you can quickly and easily trade a life of emotional pain, frustration, and struggle for a life filled with more smiles, inner peace, and being in love with every day. Paul is the author of the book, Your Life Sucks No More, the ultimate guide to manifesting your perfect life. It is Paul's mission to take away the emotional pain of the world as he believes that we can be free of emotional pain. Welcome, Paul. I am excited that you are able to join us today. Well, the introduction mentioned the name of your book, Your Life Sucks No More. So please uh, tell us, what is the name of your company and what does that mean to you? Well, thank you so much for that question, Kim. Uh, the name of my business is I Deserve a Perfect Life. And, you know, I, that gets received by different people in different ways. Bottom line is this, you do. I want every person who hears the name of my company to say it to themselves. I deserve, oh yeah, he's that guy from I Deserve a Perfect Life. And I want you to think, yeah, I do. Because you do. Wow, like I deserve a perfect life and say it over and over till it you know, gets ingrained in your mind and everything. Yes, uh, that is uh, ingraining that way is a very effective tool. There are way more effective tools that I teach people how to transform their lives, uh, how to go from. So when I tell my story, one of the things that I emphasize, especially when I'm in person, is the degree to which my childhood and my life, most of my life, sucked. And hence the name of the book, Your Life Sucks No More. Because I went through a transformation that changed my life from a life that sucked to a life that everything works out perfect. Do you want a life where everything works out perfect? Because you can. That's what I teach people how to have. How did you get started in this kind of, a, you know, making, creating perfect lives for other people? Well, it's, it's like I said, most of my life sucked uh, all the way up into my 50s. So there I am in my 50s. I'm sitting in my office one evening and I'm asking myself the question. Why does life suck so much? And I got an answer. It was loud. It was audible. It was like somebody was yelling into my ear from over my shoulder. And do you want to know what it said? It yeah. said, you do, huh? It said, it doesn't have to. Now, at the time, that only pissed me off more. Because, I mean, after 50 years of a life that had sucked, who the heck is this voice, right, to tell me, right? However, that night, because of how convincing it was, and it didn't say anything else, but because of how convincing it was, I decided that if life truly didn't have to suck, well, then I would recreate my life from scratch, from the ground up, from nothing. Now, may I go on with this story? I'm sitting on the edge of my seat, really. I'm, I'm fascinated, yes. Well, thank you, thank you. That evening, I stepped out of my office and I realized that everything was the same. Nothing had changed. And so that decision got stuck on the shelf and I did nothing with it for five more years. But after five more years, fast forward five years in my life, right? Everything had changed. I had gotten divorced. I had sold, we had sold the house. My kids were growing and on their own. And I and the dog moved into to a, a little house I had rented. And I, I turned to the dog and, and I'm going to tell you this little piece here because it's, it's so important to me. And that is that the dog's name was Foxy. And she was an Australian Kelpie. She stood about two feet off the ground, three feet nose to tail. 
cutest little doggy face. And I said, Foxy, do you remember that decision we made like five years ago? And she looked up at me and said, of course I do, Dad. Foxy didn't talk. I said, Foxy, what are we going to do about it? And she looked at me and said, I don't know. What are you going to do about it? And that began the process of my transformation. I started stepping out of my comfort zone. I enrolled in a college class, 57 years old. I'm taking anatomy and physiology with 20-year-olds. Okay, I loved it. It was awesome. I got an A, all right? Flew off to Vegas to take a weekend workshop. Paid about four grand for that trip between hotel, airfare, and all of that food. I'd never done that in my life. I was doing things that I had never done before. When I got back from Vegas, there was a postcard for the Millionaire Mind Intensive, T. Harvecker. If you ever hear a place where they're doing that, because they're not doing it right now, but if you, and there's talk that it's coming back, go. Okay, I'm sitting there listening to the speaker all weekend long. I'm soaking up every word he's saying and I'm loving it. Bottom line is this. I had to radically take a step way outside my comfort zone. Way outside. I had to do something I would have never done in my life before. And, and I'm going to ground that in science right now, which you're not going to get tomorrow. Okay. That statement grounded in science comes from Albert Einstein, who says you cannot solve a problem with the same mind that created it. So in order to solve our problems, we must be of a different mind. And so here I am doing things that people would have looked at me and said, are you crazy? I spent $10,000 on a program, okay? It radically changed my life three years later. And now one of the things that bugged me is why did it take three years? I wanted so much to teach it to others. It so changed my life. Remember, a life that sucked. A life where every day I'm just waiting to die. I'm waiting for life to be over. That was what my life was. Now I live, I jump out of bed every morning with mission and purpose and excitement, ready for the day, ready to do what it is I want to do today. Okay. And that can be everybody's life. Oh, wow. Hey, um, now your introduction also mentioned that you're a certified hypnotist and NLP practitioner. I am. Let us know how that kind of uh, correlates with your what you're doing. Awesome. So truth be told, I am certified in both. I do not use them. I have no need to use them in the work that I do. The, the one place where I use hypnosis in particular is in, in my presentations, there is an exercise I take people through that is amazingly relaxing. I, I say it literally melts stress away from the body and the mind. And it does. That is hypnosis. Okay. Now, I'm actually teaching a self-hypnosis technique in the hypnosis process. So when they wake up, they know everything I just did. They know everything they just went through. And they can do it themselves anytime they want. NLP. I do not use it all. I do not need it to produce the radical changes in people's lives that that I've been, you know, that, that we, I and my students, each individually, that we have produced. How do people contact you to get, you know, to get your help? What do they need to do? Easy peasy. What was the saying we said earlier on uh, in, in the show here? I deserve a perfect life. So simply go to IDeserveAPerfectLife.com, and that is my homepage. On the very top there, if you'd like to get something uh, that I was going to offer, I'd love to offer to your audience. Um, I love to give things away. So here's what you can do is you simply go to my homepage, click the button at the top to get the free ebook. 
uh, fill out the little form, click the button again, and voila, download the PDF. The book will tell you how to transform your life. Do you have any success stories that you can share with us about someone that has, whose life has been transformed to that perfect life that they deserve? Oh my God, yes, of course. Uh, let's see, one couple in particular, it was the wife, the woman who, who originally approached me, she had heard me speak at a networking meeting and she asked me if I could do anything about anxiety. Now, legally, I shouldn't even be mentioning that word because I'm not a licensed practitioner and that word belongs to them. So let's just say she was asking me, can I do anything about uh, stress, worry, um, emotional upset? And I said, yes, I absolutely could. So I had met with her and her husband before we worked together. And he decided that to support her, he was going to do the program with her. I thought that was fantastic. And I was actually very excited because I know that when I work with couples, their marriage transforms. Their marriage goes from whatever it is into just perfect, just, just ah, okay, just ah. Yeah. And, and um, so we start the program and, uh, Week three, actually, before we start the program, before we even started, she told me that she was very concerned. Remember what we're dealing with for her, okay, what she'd asked me about. She was very concerned about a trip that she had to take where she might have to drive most of the way. And she was frankly terrified, All right? I said, we'll address that when we get to that, okay? Week three, after week three, they tell me, or no, I'm sorry, um, just before week three, just before week three, they tell me they had just gotten back from a trip. I'm like, was this the trip you told me in the very beginning that you were worried? Oh, yes, it is. Yes, yes. I go, did you drive? Yes, I did. She said, yes, I did. The whole way, yes, the whole way, including going over the Skyway Bridge, uh, which is, by the way, a very scary bridge here in, in Florida. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, and it didn't bother you at all? And she's like, no. Okay, this is how it works. I don't necessarily know what's going on in your head when you're working with me. I just know the system works. The process works. And you wind up telling me things like that. The problem's gone. Whatever it was is gone. Now, it turns out later on, we find out he is really stressed from his job. Going to work, dealing. I once was told a saying that I love very much. It's how can you soar like an eagle when you're flying with turkeys? So, um, so he was extremely stressed from his job. And we dealt with that. We talked about that. We talked about how to let it go, how to just let be what is. Two weeks later, I'm like, so how's the job? He goes, it's wonderful. I go, so it's really, it's wonderful. He goes, no, actually, it's just, I don't care. <laughs> huh. And I said, exactly. Right? And uh, if you do go to my website, which was again, I deserve a perfect life.com, uh, on the website, there are testimonials. I think at the menu it says raving fans. And that'll bring you down to the videos of the testimonials. And Sean and Renee, ooh, how did I almost forget that? Sean mm -hmm. and Renee uh, is the first video. And Sean will tell you how their marriage is now. Ah. Two. Because <laughs> oh. I teach people how to remove problems from their life. How to have a perfect life. When all your problems are gone, your life is perfect. Right? Yeah. So if the problem is in relationship, we apply the techniques to relationship. If the problem is in business, money, confidence, um, whatever, the techniques can be applied to that area of life. 
all the same techniques. So this has been wonderful, wonderful information. And I'm just wondering if you have just one bottom line message, I, I, I kind of have a feeling what you're gonna say, but I just wanna hear it from, from you. What is the one bottom line message that you can give to the audience? The bottom line message is one message, two parts. If life sucks, if life's a struggle, if life is difficult, if life is not fun and pleasurable, then it doesn't have to be the way it is right now. It can be changed and I can show you how. Life can be better. And by the way, if life is really good and life is wonderful and you don't have any problems right now, life can be even better, even better. That's the bottom line. Well, I deserve a perfect life. Amen. So, we all do, we all do actually. So thank you, Paul. Thank you for sharing your time with us this afternoon today. And remember everyone, I deserve a perfect life.com. Check it out. Thank you, Paul. Thank you.